Welcome to DowerTid.com. Today we're going to take a look at a keyboard and case combo from Logitech. This is the Slim Combo for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And well, as you can see from this box here, this is a shell that has a kickstand, very similar to a Surface Pro and a keyboard. And so what makes it kind of special is that the keyboard actually detaches and the kickstand is actually pretty versatile. So let's talk about what it is. So that's inside the box we get here is the keyboard. I got the blue one instead of the black one just because it's something a little different. It looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I think black's kind of boring nowadays. There's too many black things anyway. So you can see there's a keyboard here. It uh, uses the smart connector on the iPad, which is great because um, using that, the keyboard itself is a lot lighter and doesn't have to have worry, worry about having a battery to charge or worry about a battery eventually going bad on you, which is kind of nice. So, what else we got here? Got the case itself and some instructions for registering it as well as how to install it and use it. Right, so we can see from here, this is where the, the device sits. Plenty of openings for all the different ports and we have a kind of a flexible membrane loop over here to basically hold the Apple Pencil which is really nice because that's almost like a forgotten accessory for the iPad Pro and back here we have the kickstand alright so and then from here that's all we got that's all there is to it so let's go and get my my tablet and I'll hook it up and see what it's like okay so here I have my 2015 iPad Pro 12.9 and physically uh, there's some slight differences between this and this year's 2017 edition. So let's see how it compares when I plug, put the device in. Steps in, click, click. It clicks in place pretty nicely. And we'll take a look at the back area. And we see so that one of the differences, if you're not familiar with the difference between the 2015 and 2017, is that the older version doesn't have a flash and the microphones are on this side of the tablet as opposed to the newer version, which has a flash and the microphones over here. So the case actually has cutouts for either one, so that, uh, you know, the, me being the older one, I am not uh, isolated from being able to use this. I can actually use this perfectly fine. And the new one has openings and doesn't block anything, so it's, it's dual purpose for both editions, which is really quite nice. So, all right, so we can see that uh, here's a bit of protection over here. We have openings here for the power micro power speaker and the speaker as well as the headphone jack. And then uh, down, down to the bottom of the, of the tablet, there is none of that same protection, uh, but you have, you know, wide opening, so nothing's blocked. Lightning connector is easy to get to as well as the speakers. Bottom side, we have wide opening here so that the smart connector is available for the keyboard to attach to. And we can clearly see the kickstand over here. Alright, so I'm going to go to a desk view uh, so that um, you can see how this thing puts together and actually works. Alright, so I'm at a desk eye view here and let's talk about the case and kickstand first before putting the keyboard on talking about that. So, so what, what makes it really kind of cool is a lot of other cases uh, don't have, have a kickstand. They usually have the, a keyboard or part of the keyboard or part of the, the front panel that wraps around and just kind of attaches on and uh, makes it prop in one particular angle. What's nice about this thing is if you flip it up, it's, it's, a, it's a rigid kickstand. And if you look down here, you can see the, the, uh, the two hinges that are here that kind of keep it up. Now, you, know, you kind of feel where the mechanism is uh, underneath this part of the case. So it adds a bit of thickness to it, but it's actually kind of, I think it's useful uh, in the sense that, well, this is a pretty nice kickstand. So if I put it on the table, you know, you got the standard um, sort of like Surface Pro style uh, kickstand where I can have it in various different angles up to a pretty low angle here, uh, which is pretty nice. And, you know, even though it kind of wobbles, it's relatively stable once you kind of start working. If you lean on, lean on it to start working, it's, um, it's pretty nice. So if I have my pencil out here, I can kind of use it to kind of draw on here and have it a nice comfortable angle. What's cool about this though uh, is that because the kickstand doesn't go all the way across, like say a surface has it going all the way across, uh, it's actually is more flexible in the sense that you can actually prop it up in a portrait mode. So I can stand it up, almost like a picture frame. So that if I really wanted to, I can then actually just kind of prop it this way and well, use it to read something without actually having to hold it. As they, so it's pretty f flexible in that sense there because not many not many um, stands will let you do it uh, in portrait most are typically stuck in landscape mode all right so let's go take a look at the keyboard 
Oh, before I do that, I'm going to take my pencil and I'll put it into the loop here. So the loop here is you know, this flexible loop. Holds it pretty good. It, uh, it's not going to not going to fall out or anything. So you got to have to really pull it to get it out. So it's um pretty you know, it's well in line with the case, so it's not dangling out anywhere, and it's not going to you're not going to lose it, which is nice. All right, so we'll get the keyboard. We will attach it on, like so. And uh, Logitech recommends you kind of fold it this way. And if we put the kickstand out, you'll see that uh, it becomes a nice working working device, and with a variable angle to fit your liking. So the keyboard will work this way, or it'll work this way. But I think preferably it works this way because it kind of gets it out of the way. But in a pinch, I guess you can use it this way as well. All right. The really good thing about uh, a keyboard that hooks up to the smart connector is, once again, there is no battery. All right. So there's no need to pair it or do any any kind of weird, funky thing to make it work. Uh, so plugging it in automatically works. Got my home key. I can log in. Uh, I got my, all my other functions that are over here. I have my brightness for the screen, my search. I have uh, the, bring, the option to bring up the on-screen keyboard if I'm on an application. You have backlighting adjustment as well as the keys for you know previous, next, and play pause, and volume control, and the lock button. The additional key down here uh, is a, on this corner, is a uh, localization key. So you can choose between the different keyboards. So if I'm say, if let's go to Microsoft Word, since we'll be typing uh, from here, as you can see, I was kind of playing around here already. You know, the option here with the localization key will choose between any keyboards that are installed. So as you can see, for me, I have English, I have an emoji key, I have Swift keys, and a Chinese keyboard installed. And so toggling that, I can basically bring whichever keyboard I need up here. All right, so let's talk about typing. The keyboard is fantastic to type on. I'm very particular to the Logitech keyboards. I like the way they feel. The travel is just enough, that, and it, it makes it very comfortable. So it's not as uh, um, not as um, impactful as the Apple keyboard, which more seems more like you're slamming on the on a table instead. This actually feels feels nice to type on. It, it, the, the keys have a bit of give to them. And they're just very responsive, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, this is a great keyboard. Uh, if you look closely, though, that the, where the keyboard is, you see it kind of is, is, is in a little U channel. All right. And uh, the edges here are kind of like a rubber, rubber material. And that allows the keyboard to kind of lay on the screen uh, without having the keys touch the screen. So if you see from here, the keys never really touch the screen. So when you close it, these edges. You know, hit the screen and you know prevent the the keys from from con making contact to the screen, which is which is pretty good. The nice thing then is the top part here when it goes up, close the machine so the tablet is turned off. Open it up, turns on, turns off. So that that that's a very nice feature that it, that it maintains. Closing this up, the keyboard itself, the the flap does not fall down, which is nice. It holds quite nicely. So it won't uh, won't dangle, and as you can see from here, the keyboard itself has a bit of a bulge. That's probably not much different than Apple's little bulge that that it happens if you have the Apple uh, keyboard cover. Uh, so it's very similar to that. The the once again, nice thing also without the battery, it's it's pretty light. It doesn't really add that much more heft to the the device at all. Once again, it opens up real easy. Let me take a look at it. Let's talk about the backlighting real quick. So let's go and uh, dim lights and let's take a look at what the keys look like in the dark. Okay, so my lights are dimmed so we can see how the keyboard looks like with the backlighting. So you see it's off. I hit the home key, for example, or any key, in fact, the keyboard will illuminate. And if I don't do anything for a few seconds, it will automatically dim and go off. So let me uh, pop in back here to, to office. And uh, actually, I'm going to get out of there size because that kinda, it's kind of bright. So you can see that um, being the keys here will bring the key, the lighting up. Now, there are the options for the brightness. So you, this is the maximum brightness. 
I can go down one level and then off. So it's only two levels of brightness. So you have on and really, really bright. So you can see from here, the, the keys themselves are lit up pretty well. They're rel relatively evenly lit. I've seen some backlit keyboards that are very, very inconsistent, but this is not the case. There are a few certain areas that are a little bit dark, um, but it's really not distracting and really not that bad. Uh, my Surface Book keyboard, when I had it, was horrifying because it was very muddy. And this isn't the case with this keyboard. You can see it constantly wants to turn itself off to save battery power. So I have to kind of hit a key to keep it up and running. So all the keys you see are, are quite, quite well lit. So it should be fine in a, uh, in a you know, dark environment if you have to do typing. All right, so I'm going to turn the lights back on. All right, so there you have it. A look at Logitech's new slim combo keyboard case for the iPad Pro 12.9. They, they also have one for the uh, the uh, ten point five inch device, uh, which I don't have, so I can't really re review that. Uh, but it's very, very similar, but of course a little bit smaller. Um, my personal preference is I like the twelve point nine inch because just it's just bigger, more spread out, just have a, a nice, nicer typing experience all in all. So this is an incredibly nice case. It really is. Uh, this right now is probably my favorite case uh, for the iPad Pro now compared to all the other ones I have. I will actually do a comparison of this case with some of the other ones I do have, and we can talk about um, its pros and cons there. If there's anything you want to see, or any questions, suggestions, or anything, anything at all, feel free to leave a comment below. And well, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe to my channel.